hello, friends and family. This is Sandra with Mudhud Homestead. Uh, you're looking at my garden on the north side of my home. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is uh, a trailer hitch that I bought on eTrailer.com. I purchased a draw tight class three trailer hitch receiver with the ball mount and the ball as well as the wiring and it's a 300 pound tongue weight hitch with a 3500 tow capacity because my uh, SUV only has a maximum tow capacity of 3500 according to manufacturer specs. Now what I'm going to be doing is putting it under my 2006 Buick Rendezvous and I'm doing this because I need a trailer to be able to haul uh, my lawn clippings and trimmings as well as other junk and stuff that I pick up. Yes, I do pick up junk. I love junk um, when I'm trash picking. So I have no pride when it comes to good junk. So I've got my tools out here. I went through the directions. I've watched the videos on eTrailer.com several times and read through the directions. It's going to require a slot head and a Phillips head screwdriver, as well as uh, some different types of wrenches, both socket and, uh, what are those called, crescent, I think? Maybe not crescent, uh, something. If I took a moment, I'd think of it. It does not call for a hammer on the directions, but I just feel better when I have a hammer at hand in case I get frustrated. These directions call for my removing underneath some clips underneath here under the hitch and then there are also three screws up under the wheel well and then after that I have to come over here and take out these screws from around these seals so I'm going to do that part first and well it's never a dull moment when Sandra's around it took me a minute to figure out how to get these clips out of the bumper. I've already broken one right here. It's in pieces. And you basically have to push in from both sides of the clip with two slot heads. I didn't know that, and I popped one, basically sheared it off. Um, snapped it right off at the uh, the head of the thing, and I'm determined I'm going to get this thing off. So I've got one torn off, or broken off, and one off, and I've got three more to go. So bear with me. I hope I'm getting a video of this shot. You've got to put a slot in here, a slot head screwdriver there, and a slot head screwdriver there. And you got to just kind of wedge it out gently, or because of the age of my car, um, they're kind of heat fatigued, I think, and age fatigued. So you got to gently pull there, like that. I probably don't have the right tools for this, which is, oh, there, and there it is. I got the critter. I hope I filmed that. I can't see with my camera. There it is. I got the first part down. I got those clips out of the back of the bumper. Um, the, these three here, um, those came out fine. Now the first one I broke, and I, because I didn't know any better on how to get it out, I was all over the internet and couldn't find the information. This one's got a slight, cr it's got a crack in one part of it. And I was very careful with that one after I figured it out on the first one. But I think it was, it may have been a combination of my impatience and the fatigue on the plastic, so it is correct. There were two other um, clip-type things that were not described in the instructions, and uh, those came out fine, too. Now I'm going to move on now, to the wheel wells. Now, on the wells. wheel wells, there are three clips on each side, um, and it requires a Phillips head screwdriver, and those look pretty straightforward, so um, I'll get those out. Well, good evening, you. folks. Yeah, I'm at a stopping point tonight. Um, for the life of me, I could not get the three screws out of the um, wheel wells 
So my neighbor is going to come over and take a look at it tomorrow and tell me if I have the wrong tools. I tried everything. Um, I just, I can't get enough torque on turning that Phillips head screw. It's probably because they're rusted in place. Um, but he's going to come over and help me out. He's a mechanic. Um, so he's going to give me some advice. I, I think I can do it. I just need to know if I don't have the right tool. So I'm going to put this stuff away, get a nice cool shower, and put my feet up with a brewski.